When trying to find out how to create a DLC in Unreal Engine, I struggled to find much information or tutorials on it. There was an old video for Unreal Engine 4 where they created a plugin as a DLC, and while I think it still works, I thought there was a quicker and easier way to do it, so I decided to make a video to potentially help out other people who are confused about the process, as it was confusing at first for me. I made the DLC using a method of just separating out the files in the DLC from the base game. I made sure the files for my DLC were stored in different pack files and then simply removed those pack files from the main game and then added those pack files into the DLC. There is another approach which can be used which is just to have everything in the main game and then check whether the DLC is purchased to enable them. But the extra content including the DLC in my game Unreal Physics is quite large around 5 gig, and I didn't want to increase the size of the main game that much for people who hadn't bought the DLC. To start, I changed the packaging method from IO store to pack file and I enabled generate chunks and then I set it to force one chunk per file and then I also turned on allow chunk ID assignments. I then went about identifying the files that are used only by the DLC and not by the base game by packaging two separate builds without any compression, one for the DLC levels and one for the base game and then compared the files used. Once I had identified the files used only in the DLC, I then assigned them to a specific chunk. The default is zero, so I set them to chunk one for the DLC. Unfortunately, I didn't find a way to assign everything within folders to a chunk, so please let me know if you know how to do this. The workaround I found was to go into a folder and then use the basic filter to show all the common files and assign those. It does have the chance of missing some files, but the majority of the size was due to textures and meshes which would show up with the basic filter. I also had some features which I wanted to be usable in the main game, which should only be available if you purchase the DLC. So I used a plugin to be able to query both Steam and Epic Store to see if the user had purchased the DLC. And if they had, those features would be available. To enable checking this, I had to have two different builds, which are only different in terms of the online subsystem they use. As far as I'm aware, you can't have two different subsystems running at the same time on the same build. Initially, I was quite confused as to where the DLCs in both Steam and Epic would be installed, as I couldn't find anything concrete in the documentation or anywhere online about the actual directory the data will be put in. I can confirm for both Steam and Epic, the data is put in the same directory as the main game. So for instance, with my pack files, if the folder structure is the same as the main game, they will put in the correct final directory. I created a separate DLC in both Steam and Epic. I know in Steam you can upload the build in the same depot as the main game if you want. However, I decided I wanted to keep it separate just to make it clearer. As I had an already live game, I tested using a playtest build in Steam and in the dev and staging environments in Epic Store. For Steam, I had to update the app ID used in the settings for the Steam online subsystem to that of the playtest app ID. The Steam checks for installed games were relatively simple, where you could just set your relevant app ID in the settings and then query the DLC app ID through blueprints. I had a lot more problems with Epic Store though, as the process was fairly confusing and requires a lot more setup on both Unreal Engine and the developer portal. One issue which I got stuck on which was really unclear for the upload process for the DLC was the upload argument app launch. As it's a DLC it should be empty but if you enter empty quotes for the argument it will give you an error saying it can't be empty. There was a help article which said to use empty quotes and that obviously didn't work as that was what I'd been trying. After many hours I managed to figure out by randomly experimenting that using no quotes actually worked. After a couple more days, I managed to finally get it all working and log in through the game using Epic Online Services and retrieve the data as to whether the DLC had been purchased. Let me know if you have any issues or questions on the Discord and I may be able to help you.